You want to probe an implant as if it were a regular tooth, using a plastic probe to prevent scratching it. Remember when probing and scaling to continually adapt as you're working around a circular shaped implant that doesn't have any line angles. And if you see peri-implantitis, it is best to refer the patient back to whomever placed the implant for further evaluation. When scaling an implant, you must choose an instrument that won't scratch it. Plastic scalers used to be all that was available for us, but gratefully technology has progressed, and now we have instruments that can actually remove calculus, such as this 204S from American Eagle Instruments, which is made specifically for scaling implants. It is made from a medical grade titanium, making it softer than the softest implant, which prevents scratching of the implant. In my practice, I have the American Eagle Implant Maintenance Kit, and it has four different instruments that cover all aspects and angulations needed to maintain implants in all areas of the mouth. If only biofilm is present, you want to use a light, exploratory-like stroke around the implant. If there is calculus, then you can use a calculus removal stroke with a little bit more lateral pressure. When you floss the implant, take one end of the floss through the distal, and then one through the mesial, and then crisscross the floss, and pull alternating ends on each side, shifting from the mesial and then to the distal for full coverage. And this will clean around the entire neck of the implant. Also, be sure to discuss with the dentist a protocol for your office to regularly evaluate implants with radiographs.